Hi, this is Guy Wallace coming to you from the home office here in Western North Carolina, USA. Many people, meaning literally no one, have been asking me about the recording studio that I've been using for my 19 videos to date in my new series for 2020, Adventures in Performance-Based Training and Development. But before we take a closer look at the recording studio I'm using, let's quickly review those 19 videos that I've posted. Part one is my work in college leading to my first job in training and development at Wix Lumber in Saginaw, Michigan, and then later on at Motorola in the suburbs of Chicago. Part two covers my work with Ray Svensson at his consulting firm where I eventually became a business partner. Part three was my work at my firm, CADI, the Curriculum Architecture Design and Development Institute in Naperville, Illinois. Part four, my work at my current firm, EPIC, the Enterprise Process Performance Improvement Consultancy here in North Carolina and before that in Illinois. Part five deals with my professional home, NSPI, ISPI. Part six celebrates my many mentors. I mentioned 42 of them in the series that I did, my first F Friday favorite guru back between 2012 and 2015. Part seven overviews many of my curriculum architecture design and modular curriculum development projects, plus some delivery work that I did for AT&T Network Systems between 1987 and 1994. Part eight reviews some of my models that were based on the general systems model of Dale Brethauer and the late Gary Rumler. Part nine, my thoughts on the four responses to a request for training after the analysis efforts have been completed. Part 10, my approach to curriculum architecture design. Part 11, my approach to modular curriculum development, my level of ADDIE in the ISD world. Part 12, my thoughts, models, and approaches to performance-based structured on-the-job training and unstructured on-the-job training. Part 13 covers my five key analysis models, part of my EPI, Enterprise Process Performance Improvement, methodology set, my version of HPT, Human Performance Technology, also known as Evidence-Based Practices for Performance Improvement. Part 14 covers my approach to performance modeling. 15, my approach to knowledge and skill analysis. Part 16, my approach to ISD project plans and planning. Part 17, my approach to training development paths and planning guide. Part 18, my approach to lesson maps and specifications. And part 19, my analysis and design framework for looking at management areas of performance. There's gonna be more videos to follow and I'll be doing most, if not all of them, in my home office studio out back. It's not really in the home office, it's just on the home office property. Let's take a look at that now. As you can see, it's out in the woods. It's at the back end of my lot. I have just about 0.7 acres, I think, and my neighbor behind me has a very nice pond, and that's the setting that I chose to sit in front of as I do this video series. I hope you're enjoying them and getting something from them, something of value, something that will impact your performance.